It is Shimati Radharani who has totally conquered me with her uh, love. And then Krishna just talks about his land. He says, my land, Vrindavan, my Gopa friends, my parents, and even the cows here are all eternal, and they are especially dear to me. They are spiritual, blissful, and filled with nectar, Narada Muni, the Shiva. Because Krishna says, know that my Vrindavan is filled with bliss. One who enters it never again enters the world of birth and death. One who after entering Vrindavan forest leaves Vrindavan and goes somewhere else is a great fool, O Shiva. It is as if he killed his own soul. Of this there is no doubt. And then Krishna says, I like, I like Vrindavan. I never take even a single step out of Vrindavan. Accompanied by Shimati Radharani, I stay here eternally. Then Krishna becomes silent and says to Shiva, Thus I have told you everything about me. There is nothing more to be told about me. I love the gopis, I love Vrindavan, I would never leave Vrindavan. <laughs> I stay here eternally. We may be foreigners, we may be strangers, but by the touch of Vrindavan, uh, we can also develop good feelings for Krishna. Consider the clouds. The clouds are ocean-born. They are foreigners to Vrindavan. They come here with the wind, and then they are over the, uh, in the, in the sky, but still, even when the clouds see Krishna, they develop bhava for him and they shade him so that no sun can come on him. <laughs> they, are, they are foreigners like me. Uh, so, uh, the uh, clouds then rain flowers down and a soft drizzle of a water. They are very, very kind to Krishna. They think Krishna and me, we are of the same group because we are doing welfare for the people. Krishna does welfare for the whole world and I'm doing welfare for a few people by giving water to them and shade. Hare Krishna. So Krishna and me, we are of the same quality. We want to benefit everyone. What has happened to the clouds? They are ordinary strangers from the ocean. Foreigners from Australia. Uh, or foreigners from Germany. Or foreigners from Switzerland. But by the touch of Vrindavan, they have developed bhava for Krishna, love for Krishna. <laughs> and they therefore when the wind comes and wants to push them out of Vrindavan, they don't want to go. They want to stay. They want to keep Damvasa. And this is, a, this is the power of Vrindavan. It can make you attached to Krishna, like the example of the clouds show us. Krishna Keshava Krishna Keshava Yeah.
somehow followed you. Uh, but then we say, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the Kati Vrata. And extra rounds will be chanted. And then then mm, one enters into the next set of the 16 rounds. An additional set of 16 rounds. And then uh, uh, towards the end of that one feels a little that something happens in the mind. It gets stirred. And whenever you stir something, things come up. You see scenes, you are confronted with your attachments. Sometimes you have the feeling you see past life attachments. At other times, uh, the attachments look very familiar to you. They are known in this life. Then comes more rounds and more rounds, more rounds. And after some time, uh, very interesting things happen. The mind is now stirred, was now stirred up, and now it's uh, uh, gradually, I should say, mm, soaked, uh, pervaded with another energy, and uh, all of a sudden you begin to see scenes uh, which you have read in the books, Krishna conscious um, events in your life, maybe. Mm, you also see pictures which you have seen of Lord Krishna. From the depths of the mind, the mind begins to draw 
things which are archivated in there. And that is a very nice feeling. He becomes like a librarian who brings the good books, the good things you want to see. Uh, and after some further time, all of a sudden, something wonderful happens. You feel a very prayerful mood. You wish to be accepted by Radha Krishna. And uh, when you still continue to chant, it might happen, and this is uh, totally uh, under the control of the Lord, so therefore I don't say it will happen, but it might happen, that you feel all of a sudden in the presence of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. You, you just feel it as a very humble, maybe the word could be used, a speck of dust, something, something like this, you know, very small, very insignificant, but very happy, um, uh, a part which is there in the presence of the Lord. Mm. I would like to give you an analogy which may help you to understand something I was thinking about. In the beginning, you put the holy name into your chanting, but the mind is still very stubborn. So it's almost like nectarian water which comes of the mind. See here? It, it doesn't stay there. It just pearls away. Uh, it goes. You know, this drop here, it stays, but if the mind just moves a little, it will also go. So, so the chanting doesn't really pervade uh, your being. Uh, the chanting does not really, I should say, go through you. The mind refuses uh, to hear the chanting. The mind remains in its own story. Uh, or at best, it will say, let's, let's quickly get this over with, and it just stubbornly just stays the way it is and just tolerates um, the, the chanting. After some time, however, the holy name begins to slowly pervade the mind. Mm. It could be almost, we could give an example of, of the mind being, you know, wettened. And uh, something happens. It, 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 it still mostly pearls off, like you see here. But something stays, like here you see this wetness. Um, the mind becomes pervaded with Krishna's presence. And after a more of the chanting, that I would say would be the last stage which I described, the mind becomes immersed in the nectarian ocean of the holy name. It's almost as if a cloth totally and entirely becomes uh, thrown into a lake, say Radakund, and takes on the entirety, not the entirety, but the color of the water and so on. And my dear devotees, this, uh, this is um, an analogy which is actually describing only one part of the story. See, for the cloth, wetness is the desired state or the normal state, I could say. Very rarely is our cloth, cloth wet. But for our mind to be dry and not have Krishna in it, not think of God, is, is the worst state you can imagine, the most unnatural state, the most diseased state, the most fragile st state, the most false state. The real um, function of the spiritual mind is to be entirely and absolutely and constantly absorbed with the 
uh, qualities, the form, uh, uh, and the pastimes of the Lord. And all these three things, the form, the qualities, and the pastimes of the Lord, they come from the name of the Lord. It is this name of the Lord which has uh, mercifully traveled into this world. And as we absorb ourselves in this name, uh, all other aspects of the Lord will slowly but surely become manifested. So that finally you feel you chant in the presence of the Lord as a little tiny, tiny little speck of dust, but a happy speck of dust. I wish you definitely all the best in your own endeavors to chant and invite you very much to sincerely test uh, my words by uh, finding time in your life, you know, setting uh, time aside, I should say, for making this most wonderful adventure of meeting Krishna in his holy name. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare So then all the gopis met with Krishna, but Krishna disappeared from them. He ran away from them, including Radharani. Now nothing, they had nothing. They were bereft of Krishna. They are all and everything on whom they have placed everything in their lives. So after some time, Krishna appeared again. And he saw Shimati Radharani who was lying on the floor not able to breathe like a lightning flash which had fallen from the clouds and was lying lifeless on the floor of Vrindavan. And Krishna revived Chimati Radharani and as Radha looked at him with so loving tear-filled eyes, Krishna felt, I want to give a blessing to you. Radha asked for a blessing. Anything. Asked. So Radha Rani asked for a specific blessing, but not for herself, but for all the devotees and the devotees yet to come. She said, My dear Lord, please make that all the devotees who come to Vrindavan to search for you will never be disappointed. My dear Lord, bless them so that they will never be disappointed and find you. My dear devotees, this is the mercy of Shimati Radharani. Therefore, Raghunatha Goswami says, I speak of Radha, who is full of karuna, that is mercy, a special type of mercy. Karuna is mercy which extends down to the needed person, persons. Shimati Radharani has blessed also all of you, that if you sincerely search for Krishna in the holy land of Vrindavan, your search will not be disappointed.
चलो पधारो रस में करिए नित्य बिहार हे पीतम नंद लाल मम सखियन के जित चोर चलो पधारो रस में नटबर नंद किशोर पधारो प्यारे प्यारे search will not be disappointed My dear devotees, our heart is not alive. The life is not there. The heart is a desert in the material existence, full of selfishness and unfortunate sanskaras, which which use a psychological force on our a life, which is just indescribably strong. Huh? Now we need to unlock the heart, enliven the heart. with affection and this chanting with affection can be heard at the same marketplace of the devotees words uh bhakti vinod thakur hari das thakur narottam das thakur sanatan goswami they all can uh, shila prabhu pad they all can help us radhanath maharaj Uh, they all can help us to enliven our uh, heart which is dead since many lifetimes so that we can call krishna in a way the krishna takes notice and gives his full mercy to us so that we can finally chant
we think of Govardhan Parikrama, we think of the ultimate journey of the soul back home, back to Godhead. Sanatan Goswami's oldest, uh, let me say, his masterpiece which he wrote in his old age is the Brihad Bhagavatamrita, in which we find uh, Gop Kumar, uh, a cowherd boy from Govardhan, uh, herding his cows in this area here, where we are now. And uh, meeting his exalted spiritual master Jayanta. Uh, Jayanta uh, observes Gop Kumar and finds in him all the qualities which are necessary for a disciple to uh, receive the divine mantra. And then one day calls him to his side, says, take your bath in the Jamuna, which was flowing at that time near Giriraj, and then come for your uh, mantra. So Gop Kumar receives uh, the divine Krishna mantra and then Mm, the rest of the work describes how he is chanting the mantra on ever higher levels of realizations so that finally in his heart which is solidly purified the desire awakens to only and only and only and only and only and only, and only go to his deity Madangopal. So. Uh, when we do Govardhan Parikrama, we actually find uh, the same scenario. We find the sacred area which is uh, giving an impulse for going back home, back to Godhead. And when we are initiated in the mantras, then we can very easily uh, get the fulfillment of our mantra here at this, uh, at this wonderful valley of Giriraj. Uh, we can see the pilgrims uh, going here. Some of them are running, some of them are crying, some of them are thinking of uh, new fans and new families and so on. But whatever they think of while do we, doing Govardhan Parikrama, Giriraj walks behind them ready to fulfill their aspirations and desires. So when we come here with a solid intention to also develop our loving relationship to Madame Gopal, to the Lord of our mantra, then uh, we will go here with great, we will leave here with great treasures in our hearts, the fulfillment of our secret desires, the uh, uh, fulfillment of our aspirations. So, uh, uh, Govardhan Parikrama is more than just a walk. Govardhan Parikrama is more than just an exercise. Uh, Govardhan Parikrama is really running after Madan Gopal, um, running after Krishna and uh, the divine world of his Goloka Vrindavan. So, we are very happy to go on this Govardhan Parikrama and uh, you are all encouraged to look at this video to watch for the next sequence when we might go to the kingdom of Radharani at Radhakund. But let us see if we will reach because as I said this uh, is not a normal walk where we uh, bridge over distances where we uh, cross over kilometers. This walk is uh, going back to Krishna and it is under the control of Radha and Krishna entirely. So, Radhe Radhe Giriraj Maharaj Ki Jai.
Now it is described that a bath Krishna can a bath in a Radha Kund brings a, 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 a very great result. It breaks it brings in our heart the love to Radha Rani. This is the description. The, the, the same lo the love of Radharani, the same amount of divine love which Radha has uh, uh, in her heart. This path in Radha Kund can m make us free from all material conditionings. Mm. But we have to take the bath in a certain way uh, which I feel is very, very important. Remember uh, how we described how to come to Radha Kund. First, Nityananda's mercy is required. <coughs> Nityananda is uh, uh, representing uh, um, the spiritual master, the Guru Tattva. Um, uh, it is very important to be uh, 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 helped and to be guided by um, the spiritual master, uh, by Balaram Nitai or Nityananda Ram. Um, um, then we can go to Goranga Mahaprabhu, who is the combined form of Radha and Krishna in a very merciful uh, and generous uh, and giving way. And then uh, we can approach the divine couple. So I will do a little meditation with, with you. A, a meditation where we will free ourselves from our material concepts, our material ego, and we will then go mm, into mm, the um, Radha, Radha court. So I will request the camera to shut off for a second. Now, we will all take our bath in the sacred Radha Kut. Uh, wh what we will do is, we will consider the words of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, who is uh, informing us that we can take our bath at Radha Kund in our original spiritual Deep. position, mm, a position where we are a pure soul. I want to request now all of you to mm, make yourself comfortable, mm, to uh, do a few simple mm, deep breaths, <coughs> to concentrate your attention on the fact that you are sitting at the most sacred spot, the place where Srila Rupa Goswami and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu have uh, given us entrance to, the place where Srimati Radharani resides, Sridham Radhakund. You are sitting here. You sit here in a material body. But inside, you are the eternal spiritual soul. By the mercy of your spiritual master, you have gotten knowledge about Goranga Mahaprabhu. And uh, you have gotten knowledge about Radha and Krishna. You are actually uh, mm, uh, given an opportunity in this life which is very very rare an opportunity to make contact an opportunity to de develop your relationship mm. an opportunity to render personal service you are not the body you are the eternal part of God so I request you now to slowly go mm, and leave uh, 
uh, this uh, space because we want to take our sacred bath in Radha Kund. We will go outside the doors of this wonderful temple. We will go a little bit to the right and then after a brief time to the left. In the distance the Radha Kund shines. The sun is reflecting on the waters. It glitters. It glitters with a golden hue. The golden hue of Srimati Radharani. Please go closer now. Go still closer. There are some steps. Stop before these steps and offer your prostrated obeisances to the Kund. Now you may slowly enter the sacred waters. You take some water in your hand. You offer it to the Divine Kund, saying, O oh Radha, I have come to your lotus feet. I have nothing else than your mercy. Please accept me. And by praying like this, you pour the water back into the Kund. Some of the water you sprinkle over yourself, over your head. Now, very slowly, very carefully, you enter. You enter as a servant. You enter free from your body and free from your mind. You offer as a grateful servant of Shimati Radharani and you take jubilantly your bath in the Kund. Go very deep into the Kund. Submerge yourself. Feel embraced by the waters. After some time, come up and now breathe long then go still deeper in the Kund. Now you want to submerge yourself totally. All this water is around you. And now speak your prayer to Srimati Radharani. Speak it from the heart. Climb up the stairs. Go the same path which you have come. Go that fine road. Then come back into this beautiful temple. Radharaman temple and you please sit down very peacefully and 
and slowly, slowly, when you are ready, come back to external awareness. So please look around <laughs> under the tree and everywhere. <laughs> I think this is very, very, very wonderful. I will just tell one pastime at the end that there is a verse in Vilap Kusamanjali where Raghunathas Goswami prays to Shimati Radharani that Shimati Radharani will always keep him as a, 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 or keep her as her maid servant, and uh, uh, he wants to be the stamped maid maid servant. Uh, and this stamp comes from a particular lila which I have once heard here in Radha Kund, which I which is just so beautiful that I want to tell it to you. Uh, once, um, Shimati Radharani asked Krishna to decorate her. She was lying for that purpose on a soft, soft couch and Krishna was painting her lotus feet uh, red, like sometimes women in Braj do. They have red lotus feet. And um, uh, mm, so Krishna was painting the lotus feet, but Radharani pretended that it was not right, that it was never right. And he said, you don't know these things. And she pointed to her manjari, her servant, and said, show him, show him, please, he's so impractical. And the little manjari had all the colors and all the brushes and said, like this. And he, he painted, now you do it. Uh, uh, Krishna did. And Krishna was just sweating with anxiety and also he felt, if I could just be at these beautiful lotus um, feet. Now, then he remembered something. He remembered that my name, Syam, is identical with me. So I can be. Ah! Come, film, film. Come, Mohani, come, film, film. Oh. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Film, film. Radha Rani ki, <laughs> Sula Prabhupada ji ki, Sachinandan Maharaj ki. Radhe Radhe. I, I, I just explain the name. So, uh, <laughs> so then, uh, uh, Krishna, thinking that my name is identical to myself, took that brush and uh, painted his name Siyam on the lotus feet of Radharani. And when Radharani uh, found out something is going on on my foot, some irregular painting, <laughs> some unnormal painting, <laughs> some unusual painting. At that time, uh, uh, Shrimati Radharani was um, very, very uh, uh, happy and uh, with, with ecstasy, but out externally she pretended this is not good. Manjari, what have you done? And she took her feet and kicked it on the Manjari. And the Manjari felt, ah, oh, <laughs> I have gotten the greatest mercy. I am now a stamped maidservant uh, of Shimati Radharani, who has helped Shimati Radharani in her very, very wonderful pastimes with Syama Sunda. The way Giriraj gives his mercy 
it makes us paramananda, gives us paramananda, is sometimes very mysterious. It is very much equal to the way Krishna gives his mercy. Krishna doesn't give his mercy with only sunshine, cherries, strawberries and cream, whipped cream. It's sometimes a very special type of mercy which Krishna gives. Krishna's mercy is sometimes seen by taking away some illusions out of the heart to which we may cling. Yes, Yamanu Grinami Harishya Tattanam Shanai. Krishna's mercy sometimes is seen when he comes with his lotus feet into our heart and stems out, stems, destroys the misconceived notions, the conceptions, which we are still holding fast to, desires for sense gratification maybe. Krishna's mercy is both sweet and bitter. You can, most probably you will experience both of these types of mercies. Be prepared. Both of these, bitter and sweet mercy, is equally beneficial. Sometimes when we only hear sweet talk about Krishna, we have only sweet talk, oh, Krishna, 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 oh! Mm. The prasadam was so good. Oh, I got such a good devotee wife. Oh, my money was not stolen, but I found extra money. This type of mercy is sometimes maybe not good. Today I had been given sweets by my cook because I was hungry. And afterwards, immediately, the stomach gave a sign that this was not good, and I had to fast uh, because it has developed some diarrhea inside. For a conditioned soul who is still attached to illusions, Krishna must sometimes show his mercy by taking away the illusions so that the soul's digestive power increases. What this means is that the soul will be able to finally give up false shelter and take to the real shelter. This is not so easy. Your advancement, you can measure your advancement by how sincerely and expertly you give up false shelter and take only the shelter of Krishna. Lifetimes. And the real mercy of Krishna happens when these attachments are taken away from us, when these illusions are taken away. That's the real mercy of Krishna, when he takes the anchors away, the things which, which will take care that you take birth lifetime after lifetime. The real mercy is when Krishna's lotus feet come in your heart, you say, my Lord, it's a heart, your feet, you are pressing the illusions away, but uh, thank you for coming, thank you. I now realize you are my only shelter, no one else can help me in this situation. You are there. And when you then turn to Krishna, your spiritual life starts in earnestness. Giriraj Govardhan wants exclusiveness. The whole Leela, the whole pastime is to direct your mind to Krishna exclusively. This is what you can learn in the Govardhan retreat. You can practice to absorb your mind in taking shelter for in Krishna's feet. And if you do this, even when you are tested, even when things are not so pleasant, even if this night should be a little cold, I don't know, maybe, uh, mm, mm, uh, then you will get the real treasures. Then Krishna smiles and he will feel, Oh, you are my exclusive devotee. Oh, I'm so, so uh, obliged to you. Oh, I just... Uh, and he will give you everything. Everything. Paramananda Daini. The highest bliss of full Krishna realization. 
Mm. Just tolerate the little test. Go through that, which wins Krishna's heart so that he thinks, here is my tested devotee. He is my devotee who clings to my shelter. He is my devotee whom I wish to give all the mercy I can give. <laughs> So, Hare Krishna, we have just now completed uh, our Giri Raj Parikram. Some of us will still continue to go in the Kund to complete theirs. But uh, I wanted to say two things. Mm. This is one of the devotional services which is called Pada Sevanam. Uh, worshipping the lotus feet of the Lord. I've often thought about how circumambulating Giriraj is the worship of the lotus feet of the Lord. And when you approach the Lord, you always approach His feet first. So, uh, Giriraj is at the... Oh! Giriraj at the feet of, uh, of the Lord because he's the best servant of the Lord. Uh, this, this service is a service because we give time and as you can see from the devotees, energy, we sweat. Uh, Marba Muni can just uh, uh, photograph uh, or film all the uh, <laughs> devotees who have uh, uh, sincerely sweated for uh, uh, the, uh, the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Our Sadhu Maharaj, yes, yes. <laughs> so, we have all given energy for the Lord, which is a very, very mm, nice feeling. One other feeling which I believe everyone who goes on Govardhan Parikrama goes through is that while you walk, you walk really through the whole universe. And with this universe, I mean the universe of feelings, <laughs> The universe of thoughts. You sometimes feel very close to Krishna, sometimes thousands of light years away from Krishna. Sometimes you feel very, very, have very good thoughts. Uh, sometimes your thoughts are very bad. <laughs> sometimes you're very renounced, sometimes you're very attached. Mm. While you go around Giriraj, all your feelings come up. Everything which is in the heart comes up. It is before, put before the Lord. Um, uh, for the Lord to examine. You cannot hide before Giriraj. Uh, you may want to hide, but everything uh, which is there in the hidden form comes up and it is sometimes surprising. What? What am I able to think? I didn't think my thinking is still so conditioned. <laughs> but yes, uh, we are what we are. And uh, uh, this is an active uh, purification uh, where Giriraj really works on our consciousness. Where Giriraj also shows that he is really there. Like in my Parikrama, I so much wanted to be in Radhakund, but I wanted to be in a peaceful place in Radhakund. And I so much wanted to drink uh, the uh, milk of the cows of Krishna. And both of these desires were 100% fulfilled. We got a very nice place in the original Radharaman temple. Uh, and we drank the milk of our Lord Gopal's cows. So we feel extremely grateful and thankful. Wow, yes. Thank you very much for showing. Uh, we, can, we can show for camera.
Yes. <laughs> here is our Lord Gopal, uh, and here are his cows. <laughs> and uh, we got uh, Gopal's Kripa today, and we got the Kripa of the cows. This we can say this with 100% conviction. Our our pilgrim has helped us to understand. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. The best, best photo, best photo. Yes, thank you. Dear, dear, dear. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Best photo, best photo. <laughs> so we are very, very grateful. Hare Krishna, come. Our last member. Uh, has made it. <laughs> we are very grateful that you have joined us. <laughs> so, uh, our very nice uh, parikram has brought us to two conclusions. We have done service and we have also been purified. We have today uh, uh, experience how our heart was melted and I'm very sure that uh, Lord Krishna has seen uh, the endeavors of the devotees who go for Giridaj Parikrama uh, and that Lord Krishna as Giridaj has, given, has looked upon us in Krishna consciousness it's much more important to be looked upon by Krishna than to look directly at Krishna. When Lord Krishna looks at us with his glance, uh, then uh, something very important happen happens. Krishna's glance is a liquid flow of love. And it is described how Krishna himself comes riding on this river of uh, his glance into the heart of his devotees. When Krishna looks at you, in other words, uh, Krishna comes into your heart. When you look at Krishna, what can you see? But when Krishna looks at you, he can see everything and he can give his mercy through his glance. So Giriraj, for sure, will for sure we look at everyone who does his parikrama and uh, we are just uh, very very fortunate we hope we could share our good fortune with those of you who went with us by Madhva Muni's super elite video <laughs> we will now uh, go and we will uh, rest a little bit a dream of Giri Raj. Giri Raj Maharaj Ki Jai! Follow Giri Raj Maharaj Ki Jai! Giri Raj Dadan Ki Jai! Go Premanandi! Yari Ako! Hari Das ke Bihari Radhe Gobind 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 Hari Das ke Bihari De Gobind me suni tumhari lila मैं सुनी तुम्हारी लीला मेरे कान सफल भई राधे गोविंद मेरी कान सफल भई राधे गोविंद हरिदास के बिहारी 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 राधे गोविंद मेरा 
मेरठी तुम्हारी लीला मेरठी